what, what really happened really was that uh, it, it was a nice election, it was going normally, until we saw the Obidati wave in the southeast, and it almost consumed everybody. And uh, it showed me the love that our people have for me, because I was able to survive that wave. All right, guys, so we are still talking about the aftermath of February 25 election. Where Labour Party, courtesy of Peter Obi, uh, is able to produce senators and House of Rep members. And then the, um, the combination would have been completed if Peter Obi was given his mandate. And then the, um, the prayers of every Nigerian now is that uh, the judiciary should be independent um, interpret the law and then give Peter B his mandate back. You can see Peter B uh, hosts the incoming um, senators and House of Rep members in Abuja on the platform of Labour Party. Now, the truth should be told. These people come in to National Assembly courtesy of Peter B and Labour Party. Yes. And they knew it. And um, all, all of them, they presented their certificate of return to Peter Obi uh, to show that, yes, to show the appreciation that it was courtesy of Peter Obi they came into National Assembly. All right, guys, um, I quickly want to update you, just as you have heard what Abaribe says, that they thought it was all about structure. Yes, that was what they were thinking. They never knew that the Nigerians, the youth, these men refuse to give jobs, will one day deny them job in National Assembly. Now, that is the reason why when Aisha Yesufu wants to, during campaign, there is one particular song he loves sing, she loves singing. They never saw this coming. I mean, whenever she climbs the podium to, whenever she climbs the stage, Everybody knew, everybody knows that that is what she's about, the message she's about to pass to Nigerians. All these men, they were talking about structures. Initially, they said Peter Obi is a social media president. And later on, they said Labour Party do not have structure to win election. I mean, they never saw this. They were thinking it is business as usual. Nigerians went out to get their PVC, register their PVC to make sure their vote counts. Of course, Nigerians now have seen that their vote count. That is the truth. So now what happened is these men will sit up. They don't have any other option than to sit up. They now know that it is not business as usual. If you do anyhow, you see anyhow. That is what is happening now. Peter B has come to open the eyes of Nigerians. That is what is plain. They said they do not have structure. Their structure was rigging structure, snatching of ballot papers. That was their structure. But the youth says, no, since you have denied us job, let us deny you job. Even Abari by himself had confirmed that he wouldn't have, if not for the love of his people, he wouldn't have, him himself, he wouldn't have survived the Obidati wave. That is the same wave, I believe, obedient people. People will have to, they don't have a choice than to come and align with Obidati wave. Because this wave has consumed a lot, just like what Abaribe says. All right, I quickly want to share this um, with you. Uh, Peter Obi have host, um, hosting the um, House of Rep and... Uh, uh, senators, incoming senators on the platform of Labour Party. Courtesy of his influence, that is the truth. And that is the reason why I say if Peter B was given his mandate, the combination would have been completed. But very soon, very soon, I believe the, com the combination will be complete. Let me know what you guys think. I quickly want to share this with you this early morning. Good afternoon, once again. Good morning, once again. And good evening once again. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. See you in another update.